My name is John Eichlanzen and uh, welcome to Berlin Porch and Spindle. Berlin Porch and Spindle does primarily custom wood turning. Wood turning means that the piece that we're making has to be turning in order to carve it out properly. They used to have old lathes that were, were operated by a pedal while they were cutting it with a chisel. So it's basically like uh, carving something with a chisel but the piece is turning so, so that you get a pattern all the way across the, the piece. The key to good turning is that for the chisels to be very sharp. So usually before a job, I sharpen all of them. And then sometimes during the turning process, I can feel that it's not cutting quite right. I have a grinder right beside the lathe, and then I sharpen it uh, uh, while, while I'm actually doing the piece. So this is gonna be the, the we, we call it the blank. This is the, uh, the blank from which I will be making the, the post. So I glued this up myself, I, I bought the material. I laminated it, so I glued it all together, and then I dressed it. We call it, to dress it means to get it to the right size and to the right thickness. So I dressed it, and now it's ready to put on the lathe. As furniture became a little more complex, uh, rather than having square legs, they wanted to make turn legs, so that's where it all started, with furniture. And finally, it went into the home building um, area with, by making very big columns, similar to what I will be doing today. I typically take on the more complex jobs. I, I typically take on the jobs that nobody else can do. So somebody has an old veranda or an old porch and they need the posts have rotted or, or, or they need new posts for, for one reason or other. And uh, they have a photo of how it used to be. They give me a drawing. They give me measurements. Sometimes I go on site and take my own measurements. Once I have that, I, I go on the lathe and I do it all by eye. These lathes, this was made by Preston Machinery in Cambridge, Ontario. And it, this lathe is, is probably 100 years old. It was originally designed to work in a factory where there was one main motor that drives all the belts. So all the machines are driven by one motor. And then it was modified and we bought it at an auction sale. So, so we, don't, we don't know much history about it, I just know the approximate age. Everything we create is one of a kind. No two pieces will ever be exactly the same. And this is proof that they were made by hand. Because if they're the same, then they're made on a, on a copy machine. So this is your proof that this is handmade. My father actually went and took a wood turning course. I think, what, 30 years ago? Or almost 40 years ago. He took the course from a professional. He came home and I, I was quite interested because I was already doing it, but I wasn't doing it, I wasn't using the right method. So then he showed me the one night and he showed me for about half an hour. And after that, I picked it up and started practicing on my own. And that was the last time he touched a chisel. Because from that, from the next day on, I did all of that work.
sometimes I, I will drive through Baden or through New Hamburg and the whole subdivision has my posts. Firstly, I do something that I'm creating with my hand. I'm doing something that very few people can do. And uh, I'm doing something that can only be done this way. And I'm really proud when I see that.